Good afternoon, everyone. How the fuck are you guys doing? Um, I thought I would do a little follow-up video to my spider flashlight video that I did last time. Um, got no script for this. I didn't plan on actually making a video today, but I got such a <clears throat> an interesting response from the last video. And um, so, first of all, thank you to everyone that sent me personal messages, did video responses. The shit did mean a lot. Um, I really don't know what to say. I appreciate it, so thanks. And for everyone that commented and everything like that, it does help. And I think my problem is is that I'm sort of a stop and smell the roses kind of motherfucker. You know, I, I see beauty in a lot of things in this fucking world. And um, when I see the Jesus freaks, it, it sort of interrupts the flow of my happiness, so to speak. Remember I used to watch his... Um, this movie called Love in a 45 a long time ago. I don't know how many of you have actually seen it. But in it, there's a scene where the main character is narrating it and he's looking at his buddy next to him in the car and he says, the coke-addicted psychopath next to me was interrupting the flow of my happiness. And I always got a kick out of that line because I felt that way about a lot of fucking people. And the Jesus freaks and the yoke ups and the sable chickens are the ones that could actually have this effect on me. And oh, after time, I sort of lost sight of why exactly I was making videos on YouTube. I, I, it was, at the beginning, a, an amusement thing, and it just slowly began to fucking bother me. Every time these motherfuckers, one of these idiots, one of these non-thinkers made another fucking video, I realized what a detriment to the fucking world at large they actually are, and it started to bother me. And it still does. Um, all things in moderation, I suppose, would be the words of wisdom I should uh, heed in this particular situation. Um, Rocker, where you left a comment on that video, or Rose Bush's video response to me, something like, you know, I saw something in his eyes when he made that last video. And it was just fatigue, man. Um, all things in moderation. Small doses. I mean, you can't take gear up in large fucking doses and uh, expect to have a, a normal fucking week. Um, I suppose my number one problem with these people, why they discourage me so much, um, to the point where sometimes I just want to say, fuck it, 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 it's because they're finger pointers, and this is a part of their theology, of course, to point the finger at other groups and say, evil, evil, wrong, sinful, evil. That, that's the game that they play, and they do it all the fucking time. All of their videos, even when they're bickering with each other, which is fucking funny to me, they're pointing the finger at each other. When there's nobody else around to shoot, they start fucking shooting each other. I've never seen anything like it. It's, it's fucking disturbing. But, you know, they, homosexuality is wrong, porno's wrong, um, you know, this is wrong, that's evil, that's sinful, but what they fail to fucking realize is that they are what's wrong. People that are willfully ignorant and refuse to acknowledge any kind of fucking fact, in anything that, that opposes their worldview, they refuse to acknowledge it. It's not that they don't understand it, they're just not going to acknowledge it because it doesn't make them feel as warm and fuzzy inside as believing in God makes them feel. And they don't care who it hurts. They don't care that all the finger pointing and fucking... Um, bigotry, actually it has an effect on other people so long as they feel fucking warm and fuzzy inside. And a part of me fucking hates these people. I, I've gotten to that point and I think once you get to that point, it, it can become a bit dangerous and I don't want to feel that way about certain people, but I do. Um, and that is really, believe it or not, all I really wanted to say in this video is that all the finger pointing these motherfuckers do, and they and they won't and they won't point the finger at themselves and say maybe the problem starts here, maybe I'm the fucking problem, maybe it's not the world around me, maybe it's the way I see it, maybe it's the the, the fucking way I want to see it. Like when they do arguments against uh, homosexuality or pornography, like Jesus Freak's latest fucking catastrophe of a goddamn video about porn is evil. At the end of the day, these people don't have opinions. They don't think critically. They don't have any opinions. They think what God says to think. 
And, like I said before, I'm a stop and smell the roses kind of motherfucker, and these guys make it really hard to notice the roses. Sometimes. Um, so rather than argue with these motherfuckers and get worked up about their bullshit in the future, I, I'm, I'm not saying I'm going to quit making videos or, or anything like that. I, I think it's best just to laugh at them and maybe take that approach, um, because that's the only thing left for me to do at this point when I think about a gear up or a sable chicken is to fucking laugh. Yes, they, they're disturbing, but that's all I've got left. Laughter. So, I might take that route. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. That's the end of my little fucking rant for the day. But thanks to everybody who did a video response and sent me messages and everything like that. I'm not fucking going anywhere. Um, the people that would like to see me go, uh, <laughs> You can't get rid of my hippie ass that quite that fucking easily. Um, thanks again to everybody. I'm going to put some links over here in the sidebar to some YouTube people, channels, and whatnot. You guys have a good day. Peace.